All right, making a battery spot welder for uh, battery packs. Uh, batteries go bad, as you know. Uh, it costs about 40 bucks for that, 45 hours on eBay. I'm tired of paying a lot of money. So I'm gonna get uh, some 18650s. They're like five bucks a piece. Uh, it takes five of them per pack, so figure uh, 25 bucks. And uh, you need uh, metal strip, uh, nickel metal strip, which I ordered as well. I don't have it yet, so I'm, I've been doing testing with uh, just, uh, galvanized strapping that I scraped the galvanized off of. So this isn't a true test yet, but it's a proof of concept and uh, showing that everything works. I got a uh, tractor battery, automotive solenoid, actually this is a snowplow solenoid, nice heavy duty. Uh, Continuous duty solenoid actually. Nice heavy contacts in it. Have a relay for the Arduino. Uh, Arduino uh, Mega uh, 2560. Uh, you can use any Arduino or any microcontroller really. Uh, display to show me how many milliseconds it's going to run for. Uh, made a handle with uh, two short pieces of Romex. Took a screwdriver, I took the center out of it and I, I drilled. Uh, drilled it for a couple pieces of Romex, uh, short pieces because they get hot eventually. If you do a lot, they get hot. Uh, and this is actually low voltage wire uh, for uh, uh, landscape lighting, but it's uh, pretty heavy. So, uh, forget the gauge, I think it's 12 gauge. Yeah, 12 gauge, uh, two, two lead. Uh, so basically all you do is you just push this down on top of the strip on top of the battery and it uh, sparks or you know heats up the, the area between the two electrodes and uh, welds, into, uh, welds the strip to the battery. Then you create your battery pack and, uh, and your golden. So without further ado let me show you how this works. Power up the Arduino and uh, I don't know if you can see that. It says uh, uh, fire for zero 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 milliseconds. It defaults to zero. Actually, I'm changing angle it is. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it. thing. So I'm just going to lay one strip on top of each other. Again, these aren't the right strips, but it's a proof of concept. And then I'm just going to push this down on the strips and fire. No, that one didn't work. Do it again. That one looked like it went. Good. Do it again. That one looked good. So I did three spot welds on it. They, they look pretty good. Again, this is the wrong material, so don't really get enough penetration on it. I mean, I could try juicing it up a little bit more. Maybe I'll try 150 milliseconds. 50 milliseconds and see what happens. It might spark. And fire. Yeah, that was too much. It's actually blasting the electrodes. I don't know if I do enough contact that time. So let me try again. Push a little harder. Yeah, that was kind of cool. 
no, still doesn't do it. Again, this is galvanized strapping. It's not the right stuff. So as soon as I get the right stuff in, I'll I'll do another test. So that's that. And it doesn't get too hot. So it should last a decent amount of time. And it's only a little piece of Romex uh, 12 gauge wire. So uh, I could just make new tips and solder them in. Eventually, I want screws to hold them in with the contacts. You know. So it's easier to change. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.